In this technical video, we will guide you through the protocol for isolating mesenchymal stromal cells, also known as MSCs, from fresh human umbilical cord tissue using the explant method and the Mesencult ACF Plus Umbilical Cord Culture Kit. Following this step-by-step -step protocol will ensure that you are able to generate the highest yield of MSCs from your cord tissue sample. This video will describe how to prepare the culture wear and medium, dissect the umbilical cord, and derive the MSCs using the Mesencult ACF Plus Umbilical Cord Kit by plating into a single T75 flask and passaging the derived cells for the first passage. However, derivation of MSCs from umbilical cord tissue can be done in a variety of sizes of culture wear. Simply adjust the coating and media volumes accordingly. You can refer to the product information sheet for specific information. Before you begin, Coat the culture wear with ACF attachment substrate diluted 1 in 50 in PBS. To coat one T75 flask, add 100 microliters of ACF attachment substrate to 4.9 milliliters of PBS in a 15 mil conical tube. Invert the conical tube gently two to three times to mix. Add five milliliters of diluted attachment substrate to the T75 flask using a serological pipette. Tilt the flask toward the corner to ensure that the entire surface is coated. Incubate at room temperature for two hours or parafilm and leave in a four degree fridge for up to three days before use. Next, prepare the complete Mesencult ACF Plus umbilical cord medium. Before you begin, remove the bottle of Mesencult ACF Plus medium from the refrigerator and place it on the bench top to bring to room temperature. Remove the vials of Mesencult umbilical cord derivation 500x supplement L-glutamine and gentamicin from the freezer and leave them to thaw at room temperature. To make 100 mils of complete medium, add 96.2 milliliters of Mesencult ACF plus medium, 200 microliters of Mesencult umbilical cord derivation supplement, one milliliter of L-glutamine, and 100 microliters of 50 milligrams per milliliter gentamicin. Add 2.5 milliliters of human AB serum for highest yield results. If you are not adding AB serum, top up to 100 milliliters with an additional 2.5 milliliters of Mesencult ACF Plus medium. Mix by inverting the bottle two to three times. Next, prepare the sterile dissection area. You will need culture wear pre-coated with ACF attachment substrate, complete Mesencult ACF plus umbilical cord medium, PBS, a sterile scalpel, two sterile forceps, a 10 centimeter sterile dissecting dish or larger, a tissue chopper or sterile scissors, 50 mil falcon tubes. We are now ready to dissect and prepare Wharton's jelly tissue from the whole umbilical cord. Wharton's jelly is the gelatinous tissue surrounding the vessels in the umbilical cord. The tissue directly surrounding the vessels is called the perivascular Wharton's jelly and contains the highest concentration of MSCs. For highest MSC per gram tissue yield, it is recommended to use the perivascular Wharton's jelly. 
umbilical cord must be dissected and plated within 36 hours of birth for optimal cell recovery. Wash the cord with PBS to remove transport medium and blood. Cut the cord into roughly five centimeter sections using the scalpel to make it easier to handle. Make a shallow incision lengthwise in one five centimeter section, being careful not to cut into the vessels. Do this one section at a time. After the incision is made, the tissue can be pulled apart to reveal the vessels. This requires some force as the tissue is tough connective tissue. Throughout this process, add PBS as needed to keep the tissue hydrated. Remove each vessel by clamping with the forceps at one end and slowly pulling away from the rest of the tissue. The vessel will be surrounded by a layer of paravascular Wharton's jelly, one to three millimeters thick. Set these vessels aside in PBS while dissecting the rest of the sections. Strip the paravascular Wharton's jelly from the vessels by tightly gripping the opaque or white tissue with one forcep while holding the vessel with another forcep in the other hand. This tissue should easily pull away from the vessel. The vessels are quite fragile. Be careful not to pierce the endothelial layers in order to minimize contamination with endothelial cells. Set the tissue strips aside in PBS while all of the vessels are stripped. Discard the bare vessels. Dice paravascular Wharton's jelly into approximately one to three millimeter squared pieces. This can be done using a scalpel, scissors, or a tissue chopping machine, such as a McIlwain tissue chopper. Keep tissue pieces hydrated in PBS. Combine all tissue pieces into a 50 ml falcon tube in a minimum volume of PBS and record the total weight. Before plating the tissue pieces, remove PBS from cultureware. Divide and transfer tissue pieces into pre-coated cultureware using a wide bore pipette. If you don't have a wide bore serological pipette, break the end of a 5 mil serological pipette under sterile conditions. Slowly add eight milliliters of complete mesencult ACF plus umbilical cord medium to each flask. Tilt to distribute the media and tissue pieces evenly around the flask. Incubate the flask undisturbed for five to seven days at 37 degrees Celsius. Do not allow the media to fully evaporate or turn yellow. After five to seven days, most tissue pieces should have attached to the flask. At this time, perform a half medium change with complete mesencult ACF plus umbilical cord medium. To perform a half medium change, tilt the flask back to pool the media, then remove four milliliters of spent media without disturbing the attached tissue. Some unattached tissue pieces may be removed in this process, but this is normal. Slowly add five milliliters of fresh mesencult ACF plus umbilical cord medium. Incubate undisturbed at 37 degrees Celsius for another five to seven days. After 10 to 14 days of culture, the tissue pieces may start to condense into compact round balls and detach from the flask. This is an indication that the cells are ready to harvest. If the tissue is still attached, but the cells have become confluent, this is another indication that it is time to harvest the cells. To harvest the cells, remove all of the spent media and detach cells with an aspirator or serological pipette. Wash the flask once with PBS to remove any remaining loosely attached cells or tissue and the remaining medium. 
Add five milliliters of ACF enzymatic dissociation reagent to the flask. Incubate for six to seven minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Examine cells under a microscope to see if most of the cells have detached. Tap the flask vigorously to help with detachment. If cells are very confluent around the tissue, they may be more strongly attached and require vigorous washing or cell scraping to detach. Add five milliliters of ACF enzyme inhibition solution to the flask. Place a 70 or 100 micron cell strainer on a 50 mil conical tube. Remove the cells and tissue solution from the flask and strain to separate the tissue from the single cells. Wash the flask with about 10 milliliters of PBS or culture medium and add to the cell strainer. Centrifuge the cell suspension for 10 minutes at 300 times G. Aspirate the supernatant without disrupting the cell pellet. Flick the tube to resuspend the cell pellet. Do not pipette up and down. Count the viable cells using a hemocytometer or an automated cell counter. Umbilical cord MSCs should be expanded in mesencult ACF plus medium. Prepare the required amount of complete medium by adding mesencult ACF plus 500X supplement and L-glutamine to mesencult ACF plus medium. Resuspend the cells in complete mesencult ACF plus medium at the appropriate concentration to maintain 1,500 to 3,000 cells per centimeter squared surface area. Plate cells onto coated culture ware. Refer to the product information sheet for further details. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius until the cells are 70 to 80% confluent, at which point they are ready to be passaged. This can take two to five days, so it is important to monitor the culture periodically. If cells grow beyond 90% confluency, their growth rate may be reduced at subsequent passages due to contact inhibition. For a detailed protocol on expansion of human umbilical cord MSCs, refer to the product information sheet on our website.